Now an investigation is underway into that shooting death last night. The victim, a prominent forensic psychiatrist, Dr. Stephen Pitt. He was gunned down outside his office in Phoenix. Tonight, his killer is still on the loose as well. Here's a sketch of the man police are looking for. Team 12's Antonia Mejia is up in the Alert Center for us with the latest. Antonia. Guys, Dr. Stephen Pitt was very well known here in the Valley. He worked on numerous high profile investigations, including the John Bonnet investigation and the Columbine massacre. I'm still in, in shock, but I'm just very protective of him because that's what he would do for me. Joanne Sanchez was one of Dr. Stephen Pitt's close friends. When you were in with him, you were in. The prominent forensic psychiatrist found shot dead outside his office Thursday afternoon. Witnesses say they heard a fight before those shots rang out. I don't think it's really hit me. I can't go by this spot right near my office where he's actually murdered. This woman asked us not to use her name, but she's a psychotherapist and close colleague of Dr. Pitt. He's very proud of his work, and he was so, so good at what he did. But mostly, it was the person that my husband and I got to know going out for dinner. This was a sweetheart of a man, huge heart. The sheer randomness of the acts puts everybody on edge. Dr. Pitt, no stranger to some of the worst crimes imaginable, giving expert insight into criminal minds for years, including the baseline killer here in the Valley. What you're really looking for is you're looking for that overlay between the behavior and the physical evidence. Police now releasing this flyer and sketch of the man they believe shot and killed Dr. Pitt. We joked about it. He never thought anything would happen to him. Yeah. Uh, this is frightening. It's, uh, it's something that was... Out of blue, to say yeah. And this man that we just saw, he was also a close friend of Dr. Pitt. He had actually come into town to be with him this weekend. Dr. Pitt leaves behind a fiance. He was also a father. Now, if you know anything about this case, you're asked to call Phoenix police. Antonia Mejia, 12 News.